All right, so when you turn the key on, it's gonna illuminate the lights. This right here is your check engine light. That was over here. This one right here is your malfunction indicator light or the uh, MIL lamp, okay? All right, when you go through the, when you go through the menu here, the first thing you wanna do is, if I can get it to, if I can get it to focus here. You want to go through the checklist by hitting, by pushing this button over to the right and put a check mark by each, uh, by each system, okay? So there's a check mark. So make sure you put a check mark by each system. I don't know if it'll work without doing this, but I found that it, that it works better if you just go ahead and do this. Okay, so then you come up to your normal, your normal screen, okay, and then what you want to do, you want to hold this to the right, and don't let it go, okay, until you get set up, maintenance, diagnostic, diagnostics. So at this point you can go down, and I think those are the only three items you have, okay. So you go down to diagnostics, and then you push the button to the right once again okay this is going to give you a whole slew of things I mean you can you can almost launch a rocket ship from here at any rate check gauges check icons check inputs check outputs engine diagnostics and I'm, I'm pushing down each time obviously y'all know that ABS diagnostics hardware software version Check internal data. I have no idea what that is, but anyway. Odometer diagnostics. Input override. That's it. You can't go no further. Go back up by pushing the joystick up. You get back to the top. Check gauges. And we're going to go right here to engine diagnostics. Push it over to the right. Active engine faults. Wait. Okay, once you do that, it's self-explanatory, you hit the button to the right once more, and it's going to give you your engine fault codes.